In this Engineering Manager 8020 Shorts, we are lucky to have with us Steve Soldati, a young but very successful civil engineer. And Steve, what I'd like for you to share with our viewers is, when you think about your career to date, what is one of the key drivers of your success at such a young age? For me, what stands out um, in that perspective is uh, getting involved with a, a local group like a American Society of Civil Engineers uh, or anything similar um, because, you know, for, from that perspective, that's an opportunity uh, to meet new people, to get new perspectives from uh, other projects and other work and other people. Uh, and it's really a way to, you know, kind of step outside your box from a technical standpoint because uh, technically speaking, you know, we learn the basics in college, you know, we can read a book to learn more about uh, certain technical envelopes of, of whatever it may be that you're working on. But to really kind of get the idea of, of how the world around you is, is operating and the current news, uh, it really kind of takes, you know, meeting these people, talking with them, having open conversations about, you know, what challenges they're having. Um, and so for me, just kind of breaking the ice and getting out into those groups uh, and, and getting that exposure has been just a huge driver because again, then it leads to, Oh, so, so knows so-and-so, which I think would love to hear what you have to say. So it's it just a way, you know, it's kind of the idea of, of social media where, you know, you, you put something out on, on the platform and so many people can, can see it. And then the, the type of network you can create within the a short amount of time, it's just, you know, it's, uh, it, it's very useful, but you know, same thing goes for these local groups uh, to be able to meet new people. Uh, and, uh, and from there, it just, you, you work on those softer skills, you know, kind of indirectly, you're working on these softer skills of being able to communicate, um, being able to uh, mingle, you know, with different people, uh, maybe in a different role or a different type of personality. And so it just gives you that, you know, exposure and practice if you're trying to you know, maybe come out of your shell a little bit more, you know, if you tend to be a little bit more of a shy person, this, you know, more practice will, will, will make perfect, you know, the ability to, to go out there and, and, and have that, that personable um, relationship, you know, with various people. But it just, for me, it just gave me a, a much better idea of the world around me and, and how it was operating and, and what the future uh challenges we're, we're going to be, you know, with, within the civil engineering community. And Steve, a lot of people will say, you know, get involved in professional associations. You hear that a lot, but just to be clear for you, this was beneficial to you because you did it at a young age, correct? Correct. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I actually got involved at the, uh, the student level uh, of where I went to college, uh, California State University, Chico, you know, go Wildcats. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, it started there, right? It was, it was, you know, it was, it was a slow progression. You know, you, you met, more students and you got some exposure to the to the engineering world but but it was the the idea of going from the student into the you know entry level uh engineer and, and still getting that exposure so now all of a sudden at an entry level um position i'm getting more exposure to the more seasoned uh professionals within that area and also you know sometimes potential customers or clients who may show up to these events as well um, so, um, it, it started in college, um, but it was also a, a big push to, to maintain that involvement, uh, once, once, uh, I graduated and that's where I've seen, uh, other students kind of drop off and, and go a different direction, which, um, uh, you know, which, which is fine. I mean, you know, if you choose a different career path or if you choose, you know, to go, you know, live somewhere else, like, you know, that, that's all part of life. But, but within that community that you're going to be in trying to stay involved as much as possible uh doesn't have to become you know a second life you know for you but just being able to go out there and, and maintain uh these connections um uh, is is paramount that's great and i do just want to say if you're listening out there and you are a civil engineer not yet involved in associations definitely get involved in them but if you are an experienced engineer and you are involved in associations to steve's point you know, get involved with the younger chapters, you know, volunteer to go speak for a student chapter, uh, encourage interns in your company or students that you know, or younger engineers to get involved at a young age, because mm -hmm. like anything in life, 
it's easier to do things a lot of the times when you're younger because you get busier and other things happen and more responsibilities happen and you may not be able to get all of the good uh, contacts and information and skills and news that Steve's referring to. So Steve, thanks again for sharing this about your career and I'm sure it's going to be helpful to a lot of civil engineers. You're very welcome. Glad to help.